Hey, um, so the last video I said that it wasn't a review for the Q2. Uh, I've kind of changed my mind on that, and this isn't a proper review, but I'm going to share a few of my thoughts about about the camera and why I like using it, you know, things like that. One of the things that I did mention in the previous video was the um, I liked how it felt. Um, it's got a good weight to it. The build quality is as anyone would probably expect from like a, it's exceptional I feel like I'm just I'm confident with it I'm not I'm not precious about it obviously I'd be uh, I'd be gutted if if I got it all banged up so soon into owning it but um, a few months ago I bought the I bought the X100V the Fu Fuji camera and, uh, and one of my first outings with it, um, I mean it's a great camera, but one of my first outings on it, I was on my bike, I was gonna, I was gonna go and pick up a, a new guitar, and uh, I was excited, so I, I decided I'd uh, take a shortcut down, um, down some steps, and like, I've never been good on a bike, and I definitely wasn't good on a bike because as soon as I started going down. I just I didn't commit to it, so I just fell, smashed my um, X100V into the into the concrete. I was all bloodied up, the skin came off, uh, the the body of the the body of the camera had, like cracked open, so I had to like I had to push it back together. So it looks interesting, and uh, it's very me, I suppose. But. <laughs> it's not properly weather sealed now, so uh, yeah, so that's, that's that's that was a shame. That was that was a rough day. Um, however, if I fell off my bike with my uh, Q2, I'd probably do more damage to the concrete. Anyway, oh, I can't remember. Um, I'm editing. I'm editing the raw files, the DNGs. Um, um, editing is pretty minimal. Um, maybe I'll do a, a video more on that at a later date. The uh, the preset that I use it's uh, heavily modified. Um, I think it's I think it might be Portra 800 uh, on the the Visco presets, um, which aren't, well, well as far as I'm aware aren't made anymore or aren't available unless you were. Know where to look, but as of a couple of days ago, I've started editing the colours a little different. Still, um, I'm still not 100% on how I want the colour photos to look. But anyway, the ones that are in this video, I'm I am pleased with. Uh, pleased enough to put this video together, I suppose. I'll never really uh, settle, really. After a while, I'll find something else and decide that that's absolutely the way my photos must look. So yeah, anyway, it's a modified Visco preset of, I believe, Portra 800. Um, and when I settle more into how I'm editing them, now I'll, uh, I'll maybe do a, a video on that as well. I suppose I've still got a few things to cover, but I'm aware that this uh, video is coming to an end. So maybe I'll just elaborate on it a little bit. A little bit in the future, like an ongoing, an ongoing review of my experience shooting with it. Cause I do shoot with it every day, close to every day, every day that I go out. Uh, to be honest, most in the flat as well. I'm always taking photos of the dog. If you haven't noticed, um, yeah. So I'll get, I'll get onto that and talk about the focal length. Uh, because I do prefer the 28 mm to yeah, other ones like on my on my M6 I'm shooting 35, and that, that's been uh, been a bit of a learning curve, getting used to it. Because uh, I, I actually prefer things a little wider. Anyway, um, <laughs> that'll do for now. See ya.